Hi friends, I am Shiva. In this session, we will learn parameterized cursor. So, in this parameterized cursor, we have three types. First one is in parameter, out parameter, and in out parameter. These things we will learn in procedures and functions topic in depth. So, before that, this one is a parameterized cursor. Okay, why, why we should introduce this parameterized cursor in the cursor topic? Means, if you want to retrieve the specific data from the database table, for example, in the table we have some several records we have. I want to only the specific records, I want to retrieve the specific records from the database table, not all. I want only specific records I want to retrieve from the database table that is possible by by using parameterized cursor that is possible by parameters so that I use it parameters so for example in that table we have some several departments for example 10th department 20 departments and 30 departments and so on so I want to I want to only the 20 departments employee list only I want to retrieve from the database. For that what we will do? So we have to use the parameters. We have to use the parameters. Then only possible to retrieving the specific data from the database team. Okay. For that they introduce a parameterized cursor. So, this parameterized cursor is internal treat has a in parameter. So, in parameter. Okay. Now, see, if you want to use the parameterized cursor, if you want to use the parameterized cursor, you have to follow this syntax. Okay. We will observe that. This one is cursor, cursor name parameter name and data types this is the syntax here don't use the size of the data type now is select star from table name where column name column name equal to parameter name so here which parameter you used here the same parameter name you can use here and this is called a this is called a formal parameter okay this is called a formal parameter this formal parameter should declare in the declare session of the pls called block okay now this is the actual parameter so open the cursor when you are open the cursor so you have to use this actual parameter in the executable section of the PLSQ plan. Why they introduce actual par actual parameter? What is the use of this? Means, if you want to assign some values to in these formal parameters, if you want to assign some values to in these formal parameters, that is possible by by using actual parameters. I declare the formal parameter. I want to assign, for example, 10 value I want to assign in this formal parameters. So that is possible by actual parameters. So these actual parameters are used in the executable section of the PLS code block. Okay. Now, so we will, uh, you, you can observe in this below example example for parameterized cursor where we should use parameterized cursor how the data will be retrieving retrieving from the database table and storing into cursor memory area we will learn by seeing this program okay see here example for parameterized cursor C. This declare cursor, cursor name, parameter name, p underscore dept number. This is a parameter name. 
is the parameter ray and this is the data type but don't use the data type size here okay now each select star from so each select star from now table name this is a table name okay table name is the emp1 the table name so now see where condition where dept number here as per the syntax you have to observe in this where column name here this is a where condition in the condition i use the column name dept number in the dept number whatever the parameter you declare in the cursor so here the parameter dep underscore dept number the same name you have to use here p underscore dept number okay so this uh, these parameters these parameters used in the you have to declare in the declare session of the PLS school block correct so I I declare in the declare session of the PLS school block okay now I want to use this open cursor this actual parameters okay actual parameters so, I mean, so this actual parameter should use in the executable section of the PLS script blocks. This is the executable section of the PLS script block. Okay, Vicky. So, I use the cursor for loop here. So, okay, what is the use of for using the cursor for loop? By using the cursor for loop, we don't want to open the cursor. We don't want to fetch the fetch the we don't want to fetch from the cursor memory area into PLS variable of data. Now we don't want to close the cursor. We don't want to exit from the cursor memory area. Internally, these thing these things are internally will happen while we are using the cursor for loop. So see here. So that I used here cursor for loop. Then what will happen internally? But I, I is the PLS school variable. I is the PLS school variable. The, it will treat as a I is the PLS school variable. If may declare in the declare session of the in the declare session of the PLS school block, you may not declare that is not a problem. Okay, so it will treat as a this one is a PLS school variable. I in C1 cursor name, whatever the cursor name you used here, the same cursor name you have to use here. Okay, this is the actual parameter. This is the actual parameter. This actual parameter, what is the use of this for using the actual parameter? The value will be assigning into formal parameters. Okay, this value will be assigning to in this formal parameters. So in this p underscore dept number, in which value is available? P underscore PT number which value is available now? This is value. P underscore D P number is 10. The 10 value will be assigned by using cursor by using actual parameters. This is the 10 value is available like this format. So now in this variable, which value is available? P underscore D P T number, the 10 value is available internally. The 10 value will be assigning into this P D P T number equal to 10. Okay, now see. So now so while we are giving assigning into in this 10 value into in this particular variable para the formal variable formal parameters, the 10 value is available. So then while C1 equal to 10, then what will happen internally? Go to here, declare system the PLS school block. <coughs> In that block, okay. Now execute this pro execute, execute this SQL query internally and storing into cursor memory area. This is a C1 cursor memory area. Storing into storing into cursor memory area. So, for example, by executing in this query, 
the we have we, we may retrieve three records for example we retrieve three records from the base table just imagine so now it will be storing into in this cursor memory area okay now here using loop now then then what will happen here the pointer will be pointing to the first record the pointer will be pointing to first record then what will happen this first record and fetching and storing into pls variable of i okay if you want to display on the pls environment you have to follow this statement dbms underscore output dot put underscore line so i want to display the specific value values from the columns then you have to use this format i dot e name the e name value will be storing into i dot e name pls variable these are the three types internally this is the variables pls variables in this single p in the single i variable having entire the record e name shall job department whatever the columns you have from the emp table entire the column records row data will row data will be available in the single pls variable of i so i want to display only the specific column values and the pls environment you have to access by this so i want to display e name i dot e name i dot char i dot department i have to, you have to use then display e name shaller and department and the pls environment when it will be over fetched from the fetched from the cursor in the first record then the pointer will be pointing to second record the pointer will be pointing to second record so now then the second record will be fetched the second record will be fetched then storing into pls variable of i so entire the second record will be fetching and storing into pls variable of i now in this time the second record is available now now if we want to display on the pls variable that by using the loop in that loop we are using the dot e name i dot char and i dot ep department number so it will be over from fetch the second record now when it will be over to fetch the second record from the cursor memory area the pointer will be pointing to third record automatically okay so now this third record entirely fetched this entire the third record and storing into pls variable of i in the single pls variable of i entire the row data is available now if you want to display on that if you want to display on the specific value columns you have to access by this e name i dot e name i dot char and i dot department number when it will be over to fetch the third record from the cursor memory area then the pointer will be pointing to fourth record but in the cursor memory area there is no fourth record we have only three records but the pointer will be pointing to fourth record in the fourth there is no fourth record in the cursor memory area then what will happen internally this loop will be exit this loop will be exit then what will happen this loop will be end okay now end the program we are used begin okay you have to use end okay now we will try to executing this program we will try to executing in this program so here passing some some 10 value so who are the working in the under in the 10th department that department related data should display on the pls environment so exactly that one will be getting a note for the output we will observe in that okay simply copy that one the same program here so same program copy Our tool here. And so see here. You have to observe. This is the under tenth department are working. These three applies, Claire, and 
clerk in a salary and department. Clerk in a thousand salary department. King name thousand salary department. Ten. Miller thousand department. Sorry, thousand salary and department. Ten. For example, I enter in the ten. Actual level will be enter in the when actual value will be enter in the program. So I don't want to enter the ten value. I want to enter the run time. The actual actual value will be enter in the run time. That is possible. Yes, that one also possible to enter the run time. How is it? We'll see. Just we will modify for that. Instead of this one, I will enter a percent D E P T number. Try to execute in this program. Then what will happen? I am entering the twenty department one. Who are the working in the under in twenty department? That twenty department employee list I should display. Okay, for that I am using enter. So now see, it asks me. These are the employees are working under in the twenty department. This is asks me name, salary, and twenty department. Jones, Jones, two thousand and twenty. Scott, Adams, and Fors. These are the employees are working under in the twenty department. For example, I want to know who are the employees are working in thirty department. So same program I am executing by using forward slash. So asking department number thirty. I am here entering. So see here. These are the employees are. These are the employees are working in the thirty departments. Allen, Wall. Miller, K, the black. These are the employees are working. Okay. So this is the. This one is the parameterized cursor used in the cursors. Okay. In the next topic, we'll discuss how to use the functions expressions in the cursors. Okay. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like, please. subscribe my channel and share and comments on that